This video is going to show you how to downgrade your Netgear WNR2000 version 3 uh, to an earlier uh, firmware version. I'll show you what we have here. I'm going to go to the router uh, page itself. 192.168.1.1 That's the default IP address for the router. Uh, and the default username and password is admin and then password all lowercase okay and there's there we are into my, my router version this is the router firmware version I have the latest one on this router called version 1.1.26 as you can see over here and it is the WNR 2000 version 3 now if you try if you don't like the software and you want to downgrade it to an earlier version you actually cannot do it this, this, the router will not let you do it. So, um, in order to get around that, I'll show you how to set the router into a passive boot mode that allows TFTP file transfers to it. And then, at that point, you can actually downgrade the uh, router. So, first thing we're going to need to do is go get some software. You're going to need the earliest version or an earlier version of this router that you want to use. So, let's go and you're going to need a TFTP program to put it into the router itself. First thing uh, you want to do is get the software before placing it into any kind of mode because when you set this router into its passive TFTP mode, boot mode, this is it. you can't surf the net anymore if you're using it. So first things first, let's get the software. Um, and the software is called TFTP, TFTP. 2.exe. Uh, you can Google search it. I'm using Internet Explorer, so I don't need to do that. Okay, and the first link I get is uh, a Netgear link. Uh, reinstall firmware on a router without the setup CD. This will work, so we'll click on that. And I'll put these links in the, in the description as well for you. Okay, go down to this link, the, the download TFTP client software, tftp2.exe. So we're going to do that. And if you scroll to the bottom of the list here, you'll see tftp2.exe at the near the very bottom. So we'll click on that. Here I'm going to choose Save As. I like to put all this stuff in one directory for myself. So let's go here. Go to the C drive. And then we're going to create a new folder. And I'll just call it Netgear Downgrade. Call it whatever you want. Just put them all in the same folder. It makes your life so much easier. So then I'll open that folder and then click on Save. Okay. So now we've got the first piece of software. Let's go back to that, to that Netgear. Oh, sorry. Uh, to the Netgear page which is uh, it opens up in a new tab so just go back to the original tab then you go to you need to download the latest firmware or not the latest but an earlier firmware so we're gonna go here to support.netgear.com again it opens up in the other tab um, you can go to support here and download center that's the quickest way to go and I, I like to use the product drill down you can use the other model number if you want but um, I find this easier and we'll go to routers modems and gateways and then you go down to the bottom of the list wireless routers gateway modems and then you scroll down to WNR 2000 version 3 make sure you get the right version there it is WNR 2000 version 3 and it will redirect you to the download page for all the firmware on this router there you go you have one two three four five versions of this router to go with the original one I have is already at the top um, I'm gonna go down to the latest oh, sorry to the earliest version of the router now you'll see that beside it it says NA and WW users well what NA means is North America and WW is worldwide users. 
Uh, they bundle the same, uh, both versions into the same package. So it doesn't really matter. So let's just click on that firmware version. Okay, important, blah, 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 download now. Then you get a Netgear registration page. Uh, you don't need to do any of this because down here near the bottom right, you see continue without registering. So click on that. And now you get open, save, and save as. So we're going to choose save as. And by default, mine's going into the Netgear downgrade folder on the C drive. Make sure yours is too. Close out this window. You don't need that anymore. And down here you can see that we've completed downloading both of those uh, versions of that software. Okay. So now you need all the software. Now you have all the software you need to do this with. So let's click on exit on this. And I'll show you right off the bat. I'm going to go back to the router. That's 192.168.1.1. That's the address of the router. Go into advanced and then administration, which is the usual way that you would do a firmware upgrade, a manual firmware upgrade. You can also do one on the net, but just to show you that you cannot downgrade this manually using this router. Well, okay, so. Sorry, forgot to show you one thing. Let's go to the router. Let's go to your C drive and Netgear downgrade folder. As you can see, it's a zip file. It needs to be unzipped to get, get this to work. So let's go there and you'll see, sorry. Double click the, the zip file and then you'll see a folder. Double click the folder and then you'll see an image file. WNR 2000 version 3 dash v1.0.1.26 that's the earliest image and like you, as, as you can see it's the correct model of my router make sure you got the right image file you don't want to put the wrong image file into your router not a good idea okay so here we're going to right click that file hit copy and go back to our neck your downgrade folder and then on the white, just right click and hit paste. And there you go. Your image file is in the same directory as your TFTP2 program. That's what you need to have. So we'll close that out. Then we're going to hit browse here. And as you can see, there's the image file under Netgear Downgrade. And we're trying to upload that, see what happens. Not possible. The firmware file is incorrect. Though you know it's correct, the, the router will not let you downgrade its firmware version on the web page. But there is a trick to doing this. So, next uh, I'm going to show you how to physically set up your router and uh, put it into the passive TFTP mode. On the back you'll notice all the ports and to the uh, right of those ports there you'll see that there's a, a little red dot now that's the reset switch uh, if you take a screwdriver or a paper clip uh, or any kind of object that fits in there you'll hear that you, you can hear the clicking of the reset switch okay just like that um, the, the thing you need to do is place your object in there hold it down and while you're holding it down power up the router and keep holding that pressure down on that then you'll see that the amber light on the power will go on it'll flash but eventually it's going to turn green okay once it turns green you count the number of flashes and, and you count 10 flashes okay so I'll start now. It doesn't really matter when you start. And once it flashes 10 times, then you can remove your um, screwdriver or paper clip or whatever you were using and the device will stay in that state. Okay? This router is now ready.
to accept a, a, a firmware flash through a TFTP uh, file transfer. Okay. So your next step is plug it into your laptop with a uh, network cable and make sure that you do this on the LAN ports not the WAN port otherwise it won't work just choose a, any one of the uh, LAN ports and then just plug the other end into your laptop or your computer if you have a computer instead of a laptop and that's how you set that up alright so you've set your uh, Netgear router uh, WNR 2000 version 3 into the passive TFTP mode as I directed with a physical hard link uh, cable between it and your computer or your laptop so you're ready to go now first thing you need to do is go down here to your uh, network icon or basically to open up network and uh, open network and sharing center and then go to change adapter settings and you'll see that I have uh, a wireless card and, and a LAN card, local area connection card. Well, we want to disable the wireless network because it's, you know, basically you want to make sure that you're not doing this through wireless. The best way to do that is disable wireless. So we're going to hit disable on that. And then we're going to go to local area connection. And we're going to configure that so that it's set, uh, hard set. So right click that and choose properties. Go down to TCP IP uh, version 4, Internet Protocol version 4. And yours will more than likely be set this way. Obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. So let's we're going to change that. Uh, click on the radio button for use the following IP address. Then type in 192.168.1. Let's say 10. You can use any number. You just can't use anything higher than 254. And you can't use 192.168.1.1. Don't do that. Because uh, that's the address of your router. So uh, 10 will do just fine. Anything about 1 or, or anything higher than 254. Then you click on this uh, link and it automatically will populate your subnet mask. So don't worry about that. Uh, you can put default gateway in there if you want or not. Uh, if you're going to do it, and we're just going to put the, the correct one, which would be 192.168.1.1. And same with DNS server, 192.168.1.1. Um, okay. And then after we're done all this, we're going to set it back to the way it was before because you don't need to set hard, uh, a hard IP address on this afterwards. So we'll click OK on this. Make sure you got those numbers correct and OK again and automatically it sets itself up uh, next thing we're going to need to do is go to our Netgear downgrade folder which is C Netgear downgrade and there's your TFTP2 program and that's what we're going to run next <clears throat> security warning the publisher cannot be verified you sure you want to run this software of course we want to say yes Wait for my computer to catch up. Okay, so mine's already populated with the correct one, with the correct server. I'm just going to take this stuff out of here. All right, this is how yours will probably open up. It's blank. So the server is at 192.168.1.1. You don't need a password. Um, click on the radio button for uh, choosing your file. Of course, we're going to go to the C drive, then we're going to go to Netgear downgrade or wherever you put your file. Double click that. And then we're going to choose the WNR 2000 version 3 V1.0.1.26 dot image file. Okay, that's your firmware for this uh, hardware. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Now just click on upgrade and if everything has been done correctly and your router is set up physically correctly, 
Uh, it should be flashing green right at this moment. So click on upgrade and you get the blue status bar. It happens fairly quickly. Uh, after you do that, your router should go into a, uh, a new mode where there's only, on my, in my case, the number two showing where my port cable is hooked up. So currently it's just showing number two. Do not do anything else at this point except wait. Don't turn your router off. Don't turn your computer off. Just wait. Be patient. Okay, so now my router just, uh, all the lights on the router went off and it rebooted from the looks of it. And as you can see down here in my network uh, connection, it's working to access that router. Currently on my router, I got an amber power light, solid, and a, my port number is flashing in which I have the cable plugged into. Like I said, be patient and wait. Again, down at the bottom, you see my my uh, network icons trying to connect to it. Uh, now I have a solid amber power light, and the the port number is flashing solid as well. This takes a bit of while a while for this router to reboot, which I think a lot of people are uh, not aware of. They think that you know, hey, as soon as I turn it on, it's going to turn on. But after you flash it, it takes a while for this router to boot up. Still got an amber power light. Uh, now my wireless light is now uh, blue. And my power light is now solid green. So I'll take that as an indication as the router is, are, is ready to go. So let's open up Internet Explorer. Then we're going to put in the wireless, sorry, the uh, router's default uh, IP address into the address bar, which is 192.168.1.1. Of course, it's going to ask us for the username. Default is admin. And uh, password is password, all lowercase. And ta-da. We now have downgraded the router's firmware to version 1.0.1.26. Uh, so, that's how you downgrade it. Now, don't forget to, to reset your network settings so that you can go back to normal. So right click your network icon there, open network and sharing center, go to change adapter settings and enable your wireless. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, right click your local area connection and then go to properties. And then go to Internet Protocol version 4 and set these back to obtain automatically. Okay. And you will see that it, it does that. Uh, if we look at the status and look at details, it shows you your, your new IP address is 192.168.1.1 and everything else is correct down here. So... Uh, router is working correctly at this point. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.